Hello, my name is Kevin Bisking and I'm a senior product manager here at National Instruments. And I've been in the test industry for now almost 10 years. And during that time period, I've got, had a lot of opportunity to talk to our customers and see the applications that they're solving, but also some of the challenges that they're facing. And one thing that continues to be brought up time and time again is the increased complexity of the devices they're testing and also the shorter time periods that they have to do that. And so what they're doing is they're looking for ways to get ahead and address this concern. And so what the trend is in the industry right now is, is these test engineers are turning towards software-defined instrumentation. Now, I'm going to dive into what that actually is, but first I want to explain an analogy in the communications industry by looking at a cell phone. So everybody knows what a cell phone is and what it does, but if you take a step back and think about who defines the functions and features of a cell phone, it's really the vendor. Uh, there's not a lot of open software that helps you uh, modify it or customize it. Well then, the smartphones come out, right? And you now have smartphones that are powered by very powerful operating systems and application software. One being the iPhone that just released a year ago, which uh, has been, you know, been very successful for a couple reasons. And one is it's a very generic high performance platform, but all the features are enabled through the software. And so every month or two, Apple's able to release new features, not release a new hardware platform, but release new features that are, are very useful to the consumer. And so they, their time to market has shrunk dramatically. They didn't ship it with GPS capability, but through software they were able to enable a GPS-like feature. Now, if you take that capability and think about the test industry and look at the analogy, you would have your traditional box instrument, right? Which has a fixed function screen and it has different buttons and knobs which define the feature set and how you can interact with that instrument and take measurements. Very defined by the vendor, not open, not, not customizable by the customer. So as a new device comes down to production tests that has a new feature that they need to test that's not available in this instrument, they either have to buy another instrument or wait many months or even years for the upgrade in firmware from the vendor. So, this industry is trending towards soft-defined instru instruments where basically you have a very generic hardware platform, high-performance platform based on PC technology. You have a PC inside it, so a such platform as PXI, which is an industry standard, or you have this PC that runs this, this very sophisticated software the, such as Windows as well as application software such as LabVIEW are examples of that. You plug in your modular hardware, so as your applications change and evolve, you can plug in different I.O. And then, all through your software, you can customize how you present those features or those capabilities to the customer or to the test engineer. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and draw a monitor, which has a custom UI. In this case, it has a, um, a graph showing a waveform. It has a couple of software um, buttons and knobs. So now you say you're testing a device with that, and now the next version of that device comes off the production floor. It has maybe a new wireless protocol that you didn't previously have in your test system software package. So instead of buying another box and trying to really rechange your architecture, using a software-defined architecture, a software instrumentation platform like PXI, you can basically reuse the existing RF hardware you have in there but just modify your software to incorporate that new protocol. So as you can see here, this, this uh, software-defined approach enables test engineers to adapt their test systems to the evolving needs of their, cust of their custom devices under test that they're producing and testing. So hopefully that's clarified that issue for you, and I appreciate your time, and uh, hope you have a good day.